Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? I'm good, thanks. All right. Is there something you want? What were you discussing with the Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Mm, no. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora is. Would you? That'd be great. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. Is this a casino? We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. We've got some quasar stations. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux.
Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Tell me I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot. How many people died because of him? That Quarian's dead if we don't.
Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But we could take her to the human embassy. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave... I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. Alone we search the stars. Only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I, I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't... Eden Prime was a major victory. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it. Man. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And the they Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We no matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We what about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take it.
Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. My goodness, your, your activity's made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander.
with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back This to isn't a game, Jenna. These people now are Now you dead. sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get the feet. girl. We better go find out. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to... I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually un... But since you were so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a it's way. nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some... Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated... What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels at your... Good luck, Commander. Hello, Commander.
Hold it. That's close enough. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Sure are the good. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellik. Excellent. This is it. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But the recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't it's that illegal to use my system. I just need a few more wins recorded. And the device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Does the device help? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. I'll help you out. Huh. Here you go. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. 
Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Strange metal creatures with real AI. Yes, but there's more. Yeah, there are always. I heard they had some connection with Rogue Spectre. Not this again. Why is that so hard? Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. They should be. Aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'm waiting for someone else. Hey there, welcome to Flux. I'll be right over. Uh, take a seat, someone will be with you soon. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see. I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Hey there, welcome to Flux. Hey, good to see another human. 
So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I? Maybe you do should that? put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Word on the street is that you've been busy. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. at the academy it's good busy though 
I can't believe how many... Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Pacific. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast. You're not just a programmer of VI. Correct. You're an AI. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, Approximate a self-destruct. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator In order now? to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial record. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape, but I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the... malfunction and terminated the A.I. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, A.I.s are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed.
never gets dark here. They keep the artificial sunlight on at all times. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Bye. I'm waiting to speak with one of the... Commander? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. I Sar recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She I'm more fun. interested in the Reapers. What do you know Only about Only what them? was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. We Saren. think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Do we even Saren. know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree... The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend... 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer... That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse, Senor A fleet. fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep or the it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's... Commander Shepard, step forward.
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a you ship. You get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. I'm waiting. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. Is something need... wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. Maybe you can help me, Shep. We lost contact yesterday. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Going home, I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen.